Guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm standing outside of my truck right now, and I want to show you uh, some dealer installed holograms that I'm going to fix. I'm hoping you can see these here all over that panel. And it's only the top section of this panel right here. But they've been there since I bought it and I haven't done anything about it. So I want to take the time to show you how to go about removing holograms. It is not a difficult process. In fact, it's very simple. A finishing polish will remove it. Um, holograms are very, very fine microscopic scratches that are put in the surface of the clear coat or the paint with generally a rotary polisher and a wool pad. The wool pad, uh, no matter what polish you're using, uh, depending on the aggressiveness of the wool, will leave those very, very light uh, scratches, which we call holograms, in the surface. So that's what we're looking at. And so I'm just going to use a Harbor Freight DA and some infinite finish with a four inch orange buff and shine pad after I wipe this thing down. I'm just gonna clean this section. My truck's kind of dirty, but I'm just gonna wipe it down with the infinite use detail juice. Uh, it has been recently clayed, so I'm not real worried about it, uh, but I'm gonna get you mounted up so you can watch me take care of these holograms and then uh, we'll be right back. Boys and girls, I got you rigged up over here and I got my infinite finish. Got my Harbor Freight DA with my orange pad, my four inch orange pad, ready to go. I also have an LED light and some 91% isopropyl alcohol, not diluted. Just gonna hit it with some uh, infinite use detail juice. just to clean it up. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of infinite finish to this pad. Make sure it's all over. Then spread it out a bit. We'll put it on speed uh, four and a half. Not a lot of pressure. Medium pace. And that's it. That's all it takes. Very light polishing will remove the uh, hologram. So just uh, remove the infinite finish. Just like so. And now we've lost the sun. It's coming back a little bit. Um, but I don't want you to take my word for it. What I want to do is hit it with some alcohol so that you can see that infinite finish took care of it. So this is 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. I'm not going to spray it on the panel. I'm going to spray it on the microfiber towel. Then I'm going to wipe it. Really well. You can tell it's alcohol because of how fast it's drying up. You know, because a lot of people, a lot of companies will try to trick you. I'm not trying to fool you with any trickery. I actually use isopropyl alcohol, 91% rubbing alcohol. 
boom. So, when the sun comes back, I'll show you that there are no holograms left in this paint. And you can see there are none. I'm pretty excited. Oh, there goes the, uh, there goes the sun. Ah! Every time I try to shoot a video, this happens. But you can see, you're not seeing any scratches or holograms or anything where that LED light is. I'm going to move the truck back there in the driveway so it's uh, getting some sunlight. There you go. No more holograms. And we'll just wipe it again because I cut the video. I just want to want there to be no question about what's going on here. Because I, I don't mess around. So there's isopropyl alcohol being sprayed on this towel. And so I'm just going to wipe it down so that you know it's fresh. Boom. Nothing. No holograms left. No buffer trails. Nothing. Crystal clear paint. Looks amazing. And I feel a thousand times better. There you go. Now the uh, final step to this because I recently did my uh did some juice boost is i will uh take some juice boost and i will just spray it on there and i'll give her a good wipe now she's all protected again boom baby that's how we roll around here yeah so that is how you remove holograms with infinite finish. You don't need infinite cut. You don't need anything super aggressive. Uh, those holograms are very, very minor scratches. They're very light, uh, very, very, very shallow scratches. And um, infinite cut and infinite finish definitely cut very well. I mean, infinite cut, obviously, that's the point of it. When it comes to removing the holograms, you don't need a lot of abrasive to do that, uh, which is why I'm showing you infinite finish and how easy it is to remove holograms with that. If you need me, I'm here. Check out detailjuice.com for all the products that I use today. Uh, and if you've got questions about those, I'm here as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.